The important concept to understand for this problem is that, by convention, the strength of the electric field is proportional to the density of the electric field lines. So in other words, the closer the electric field lines are together, the stronger the electric field is at that point. The farther apart the lines are, the weaker the field is. In this problem, we can see in all three scenarios that each of the three scenarios have different densities of the lines. For diagram A, we can see that there are five electric field lines that are all pretty close together. And in part C, we can see that there are only three that are further apart. So the electric field in diagram A is stronger than the electric field in diagram C. The problem is asking us to rank the linear momentum of the proton after it's been released from point A and sent through to point B. We can see that diagram A has the biggest density, as we've discussed earlier. So A it will have the greatest effect on the linear momentum of the proton. And remember that the stronger the field is, the more the proton is accelerated, which means it has a higher velocity, which therefore means a higher momentum. So A has the highest momentum. We can see from diagram B that the lines start out pretty densely packed, and then grow farther apart as we move to the right. This means that the proton will start out with a relatively high acceleration compared to diagram C, where all the lines are very far apart to begin with, but it gets weaker as we go on, and the acceleration on the proton from the electric field becomes weaker. So you will say that B is the next strongest, because diagram C, the lines are pretty far apart and stay that way all throughout. So C has to be the weakest. So this is our ranking, and is the answer to this problem. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please consider subscribing or donating to my Patreon, as that'll help me out in making more videos just like this. If you have a request or a question, leave a comment down below, and I hope you all have a lovely day. Bye-bye.